Hi. Uh, in the last class, uh, we have seen growing tool path, uh, growing methods, so one point growing method, two point growing method, three line growing method, and chain method. Chain and chains, more than one chain. Uh, up to that, we have seen. Uh, uh, other than this, uh, there is also a, another type of uh, growing tool path. Uh, you uh, sometimes guru always uh, may not be there in the cylinder only. Maybe it may be there on the face also. So that is called a face guru. Suppose example you can see here. So in this place if you want to machine, it is the, it comes under the face guru. And you can see here, um, it's an angular guru. So in this uh, class, we are going to see the uh, uh, angular guru and the face guru. We will move forward. So first we will uh, make the stock setup. So I selected the stock model and if you select ID also because the stock is having uh, ID. So you can see the preview. So it look like this. Okay. Now we can go for uh, holding the job. I selected the uh, approximate point. So there is uh, okay. So we modify this. Now here I do not have a geometry, so we will change the option. So I came to standard geometry and I will select the point, <coughs> you can see the preview. So you can make a shading and uh, and preview this so the stock is look like this so now I want to generate the, the tool path uh, I just uh, break this uh, line so I just want to stop my tool on that point up to that point <coughs> now go for Tool path roughing. So I'll change chain from so this point to so that we need to do the facing also here. So I'll start with the facing now. Um, facing and face tool path. I took a 55 degree angle tool. Use stock, then uh, rough parameter you make it to 1 mm. Okay. Now facing is over, now we will go for roughing. From that point, I will change the direction. So, up to here. So, that's the reason I have broken that line after that. Okay. So it shows that the WC is, is not matching. Let us see. Some error has come. You stop for outer boundary I switched on. So nothing more changes uh, here. So now you can see that this roughing is uh, done now. Now we need to remove the material on the front. So now we need to do the, we will see that how it is possible. So 
we will we'll see that uh, this uh, grooming also possible uh, means cover by plunger of him no it's not <laughs> giving some okay so plunger of him is uh, not uh, suitable now so we will make it uh, normal i will say yes now up to this is over now i need to do the face uh, grooming uh, face grooming tool so i'll select the chain okay uh, from uh, this point okay from here to yeah This is a face grooming tool. Ye, ye, e, e is what is the length? Uh, that is important. So it is how much it is. Very less it is. Okay. Uh, what D? The tool is very small tool. You select now. Uh, now this is okay now. So I modified the tool. You can see that automatically. So once you selected the profile, automatically the direction also changed here. So you stop for outer boundary switch down. So this parameter you just I just accepting. Now you see that this is called the face uh, grooming. option okay so now now uh, now we are going to do the next uh, uh, option is angular grooming So now you can select multiple chain. Yes, from here to here. So this multiple chain option will will learn one one simple example. We will select the tool. Oh. so the tool tool is so big so that it is more than the uh, groove width <coughs> we can modify this tool width is more so we'll check it d it is very small tool okay. this is point to <coughs> how much d this is okay so now you can see that double chain now uh, growing so now we are going to do the angular group now how to do this uh, this uh, particular type of angular groove so now we go for angular groove let grooving tool chain select the chain from that point to this point accept there is another chain from here to here so there are two chains are there okay now <coughs> same tool i am taking so in the parameter so i will say select angle plunge angle so i selected that uh, chain around 
you can modify it uh, approximately so as in the turret uh, while mounting the tool has to be uh, kept at uh, an angle then only you can be able to do the uh, uh, do the angular group so how to set in the uh, software is showing here so you can see the plunge angle so you can modify the plunge angle to 45 degree so this is the plunge angle then only the tool will come in the angle otherwise the tool will come at straight and it will hit somewhere so other than this even the compensation also you can see so you keep the compensation um, both the direction this is also one of the things now you can see that the tool uh, <coughs> you can see the tool is uh, tilted uh, an angle okay so remaining thing uh, will accept it and uh, okay In some error is coming okay let me see oh the same tool is used in both the cases I think so you see the what is the width of the tool we have not we have not checked the width of the tool now it's the 4 mm around uh, oh, how about our tool just we will check this is the old one we will not touch anything here we will go again we will make uh, the same tool in both the place uh, we used i think uh, that's the reason it is made created a problem again we will go for lathe tool path groove tool path chain multiple chain now from here on axis and uh, from here to here Upset. now we will select the new tool so we will take some other tool so we need to check the width of the tool definitely otherwise we cannot be able to because our width is 4 mm only yeah even you can modify it that is nothing wrong no otherwise we can make it so we will take one small tool oh, you can go there angle minus 45 degree ok ok some name need to be given ok we give the name uh, inclined I just put uh, INC for the inclined and change the tool here ok we will accept the remaining now you see it is coming uh, with both both are a problem even lead in lead out also problem and tool width also problem uh, so we will do one thing so we have seen this much careful how we missed the length of ok we will check it again Oh, maybe we selected wrong tool there. No, this is okay. Correct.
some issue is there in the lead in lead out i think solid is uh, switched on we'll see So now you can see it is happening, but uh, you are leading lead outs uh, uh, making issues. So we'll modify leading lead out now. <coughs> and the finishing only leading lead out will <laughs> be here. <coughs> I can put automatic also. <coughs> Let us see. It has done. This is the angular burden. I think here also there is issues. Yet tool with this issue. Okay, it's necessary to see whether the tool widths are correct and uh, because uh, if the tool width is more, definitely that will create the issue. Okay. So. It is asking me just to give the name. So we should be very careful while selecting the uh, tool for the operation. So now everything is fine. Okay. Now we have seen face guru, how to do face guru, how to do angular guru, both the things we have seen. So next class we will see some parameters, common parameters in the guru wing and we'll see in the next class okay thank you